Hi Cancer, I hope you're doing well. Happy holidays and this is going to be your yearly uh, tarot reading. So let's jump right into it. I'm not going to be doing reversals for this one and the video is going to, well not the video, the reading is going to consist of two parts, the first half of the year and the second half of the year. All right, so Cancer, the first half of the year, what can Cancer expect to happen in the first half of 2019? Okay, what about the second half? Well, that's definitely a mixed bag here. Okay, guys. So, good news. At the bottom of the deck, I do have Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a card of satisfaction. Wishes coming true, okay? This could be maybe something that you've been waiting for for a while. Not waiting for, but wanting. You know, that you have a wish that you've been thinking about, dreaming about. And now it looks like in 2019 it's going to come around, okay? So that's amazing news. This is also um, a feeling of... In, not independence necessarily, but you feeling very content and satisfied with, with with everything that's going on in your life. Okay, now in the first half of the year, the first card I have here is King of Pentacles. So this could be, of course, an earth sign that's going to be very significant in uh, winter, right? But at the same time, this is all about finances and stability, something regarding um, a financial venture could be very important to you uh, in the beginning of the year so why is king of pentacles here Ooh, nice the sun so guys it would, could probably mean that you're going to receive some kind of money okay um not necessarily money like in like the actual money right this could be a job that you could receive for example uh you're not working right now this could be a great opportunity that comes your way uh either to get a raise at work or to get a job that you want okay and this is something that's going to make you really happy so if you've been jobless for a while for example this is a good time to <clears throat> find something now Another thing is um, there could be a sense of not feeling as stable as you would like right now or maybe throughout 2018. This is an indication that you're going to be very happy about something. You're going to feel more stable in the beginning of the year. That's a really good thing here. Now I also have the moon in the first half of the year. The moon talks about something being unknown and then you becoming aware of something towards... I believe uh, early spring maybe uh, this could be something about anything honestly I, it doesn't have to be anything specific uh, like relationships or you know job or anything like that I don't think so this is just something coming your way and you're not aware of it yet so why is the moon here sometimes the moon talks about confusion okay um, a person just feeling kind of lost you know feeling confused um but i don't think it's the case here honestly i think it's just something that you're not aware of now you will become aware of it later the emperor is here the emperor could talk about bosses father figures somebody that's higher up than higher up than you uh, somebody that you look up to somebody that you rely on okay there could be something regarding that person that happens or um you will find out something from that person or about that person and that's going to be very significant okay this however could also talk about you becoming the authority especially when I'm looking at the next card in the spread this could be you becoming maybe um, you know changing a status in a way moving up in your career moving up in life right becoming the Emperor rather than being um, below okay the Emperor so the Hierophant is the next card. And guys, you know, um, I've been doing yearlies. You're not the first sign I'm doing yearlies for. And a lot of signs are getting um, the Hierophant, okay? 
this this is a card of uh, changing the status this is a card of commitments this is a card of something traditional this is a card of dealing with institutions having some kind of approval from institutions from authorities you know from government even or becoming a part of them becoming a member of something so your status could definitely change within a year um, for the better you know you could maybe find yourself becoming somebody more important okay so why is the hierophant here definitely moving up especially regarding your career yeah death oh my god i clarified it with death so something is changing in your life this year it's something that a, a chapter in your life is ending okay and it's it's not bad don't think that it's bad it's actually transformation you moving up you changing your status you're changing your lifestyle maybe um, you people seeing you from a different perspective now you seeing everything from a different perspective your stability is going to change it's going to improve big year for you guys very big year for you okay so this is the first part of the year the first half now let's move on to the second half of the year we're starting out with three of swords which is not the best right but three of swords is temporary energy this could be maybe too much too, too much going on where you don't really feel like uh, you can handle all of it. This could be somebody maybe disappointing you. You know, it's normal. It's life. We we don't all have perfect relations. I mean, none of us really have perfect relationships. There's at least one person in our cir circle that could disappoint us, that could make us mad, that could make, make us upset, right? Uh, so why is Three of Swords here? <clears throat> Queen of Cups. Well that's your guys's energy this is water you know this could be another water sign maybe that you could expect a little bit of sadness from you know a little bit of disappointment however it's also about emotions you know there is a lot changing uh from the looks of it it's a big deal okay it's a big year i do have so many major arcanas here already uh that it does talk about significance of this year to you um, so it could be just emotional time, you know, it could be worries, it could be concerns, it could be um, anxiety uh, regarding the future, regarding everything that's going on. Okay, so I would not worry too much about Three of Swords considering that it's a, a minor arcana. But keep in mind that this year could be emotional for you because of so many things changing, so many things transforming for you. So um, the second card in the second half of the year which would be i believe towards um early fall okay this is six of wands guys i do believe especially if you're watching this for your career oh my god you're going to get recognized you're going to get some kind of attention you're going to get your rewards you might be in the public eye people may know about you i wish i was a cancer you know there's like a lot going on regarding your career that's going to give you success okay so why is six of wands here i don't even want to clarify it it's so good two of wands and when you get recognized for your efforts for your work whatever you've been working on for so long once you get recognized you will be able to plan more you will be able to plan ahead you will get new ideas new goals you will be able to new plans you know you will be able to see your future in a completely different light and finally the last card that's how we're completing the year queen of pentacles again money money i don't know um i feel like not necessarily money right but your stability is going to grow guys especially if you're really worried about it right now you know a lot of you maybe are feeling somewhat unstable or insecure regarding your career regarding your home regarding your relationships this year gives you a push this year gives you an opportun opportunity to grow right queen of pentacles is abundance financial abundance security so why is queen of pentacles here so nice Woof! page of pentacles and look i do have four of wands at the bottom of the deck four of wands talks about security stability within a home just a stable life overall and page of pentacles here holding a coin i mean holding a pentacle right uh a coin this is <clears throat> opportunities coming your way as you can see here both of them are holding a coin 
So will you be will you have something in your possession towards the end of the year? Could that be a house? Could that be a new car? Could that be a business? Right. Could you be in charge of a business? Could you be in charge of something major? Yes, this could be the case. OK, because both of these people are holding something in their hand. They're possessing something and they seem to be pretty well off. OK, so guys, especially regarding stability, finances, career, this reading is perfect for you regarding your relationships. Yeah, most likely something is going to change. A lot of people could be getting married. A lot of people could be transforming their relationships. It's going to be beautiful. Nice, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.